Hey everyone, it's Josh Johnson, and we want to know, what do you want to hear us argue about next on the show? Okay, it's very easy to let us know. You can drop a comment on any of the Daily Show's clips of Hold Up, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, or Twitter. You can also hit us up with the hashtag Hold Up. And honestly, if we have an opinion about it, we'll do an episode about it. We both love to talk, we love to argue, and we love you. So without uh, anything else, let's uh, let's get into the show. Welcome to Hold Up. I'm uh, your co-host, uh, Josh Johnson, a writer for The Daily Show, and I'm joined by me, Dulce Sloan. And um, uh, I did not want to... Mm. I'll say this. Sometimes as someone who... <sighs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is already wild. I'll say this. Sometimes as someone who is in the public eye, right? Uh-huh. uh-huh. And who is a performer. Yeah. People will make requests of you mm-hmm. when it comes to how you express yourself. If you are a fan mm-hmm. of a comedian or a performer, mm-hmm. mainly comedian, and you want to DM them, message them, come up to them after a show... And give them a joke, give them notes, tell them about what you think you should, they should change. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Put something in your mouth. I don't care what it is and go away. You are the worst person because you are not a fan. I don't need your notes. I don't need you. None of us need your notes. None of us are going to tell your bar joke to anybody and don't get offended when you ask us, can I tell you a joke? And we say, no, we write our own material. We don't need you. Also, if you were dating a comedian, you are not that interesting. The number of dudes that I've talked to is like, don't put this in your act. Don't worry. I won't. You're either annoyed that I did put it in or annoyed, or you're annoyed that I might put something in. Or nor that I won't put something in. And my favorite is because we've told men they're funny, because that's what the ugly men have to go off of, or even men want to be interesting, right? So we've told men that they're funny. That's why we have this thing about women not being funny. The number of men I've had say to me, I bet I'm funnier than most of your friends, sir. My friends have comedy specials. My friends have comedy (laughs) specials, albums, tours. I feel like this. (laughs) It would be funny to do this. uh, This episode as Dulce versus the (laughs) Diops. Well, I can say I'm very annoyed by Mm -hmm. the amount of respect that I get. In my DMs. Um, <laughs> there's never a man trying to holler at me in my DMs. Mm. Ever. There's always some annoying woman. One good thing that has been happening uh, is I've been getting lots of pitches in my DM for potential episodes. And I think you're going to like a couple of them. A couple of them. No are- one's sending me anything for pretend. I would love that. Oh really? No one's no, sending I me. got I got a bunch of good ones, and so we're gonna have to start doing shout outs on like on the specific person that's like, hey, we uh, thank you so much to the person because I feel like some of them were so specific that I was like, yeah, this is this is great. Oh man, I cannot wait to hear. But what are some of the ones that we're never gonna do? I mean, I I don't see us doing DC versus Marvel. No one's yeah. no one's not really gonna happen. No, um, no, uh, could don't know enough about either camp. <laughs> don't know who's who. I don't know where Spider Man stay. I don't know where Batman would... live. Also, Michael Keaton is the only Batman I care about. That's a hot take, uh, bro. That's wow. Before we get into like a Batman debate, let's tell the people what this episode is about. Today is one that's actually very close to our hearts. Very close to my heart and my titties. 
See, you see what I mean, though, about what? the like, like I, you know, I sort of said a thing, and then you sang a thing. You felt, you know, like you were gonna stunt on me in my face. I'm not trying you know? to stunt. I'm just trying to live my best life. Listen, I got these nails done. Okay, I have the nails of the woman, like I said on Instagram. I have the nails of the woman in Dolly Parton wrote, warned us about. Okay, I uh -huh. am Jolene. Jolene, you get it? Yeah. No, no. Look, I, I Jolene. Understand. So why don't you Jolene? Listen, I didn't have a proper warm up, so that didn't. Jolie, <clears throat> jo listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come back on the next episode after I've had a proper warm up because uh -huh. I just embarrassed myself, you know. No, 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 I'm you're better doing than great. And tell the people Jolie. what this episode is about, and then tell them where you stand. This episode is about a conversation that I have on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and a war that I have been waging. <laughs> Since I was a wee girl. And the topic of today's episode is, as mm -hmm. if you didn't read it on the caption. But for those of you who did not, it is summer versus winter. Mm -hmm. Verano versus invierno. Do I know how to say versus in Spanish? No, it's probably versus. I don't know. No one's ever asked me. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is summertime versus wintertime. And mm -hmm. since we know that Josh has a tendency to be wrong. Whoa. What side are you for, Josh? What side am I for? I'm for winter. Wrong. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? Wrong, what do, you mean, what do you mean wrong? wrong? You, are, you are wrong. You are There's absolutely no, mm. categorically in core fucking wrecked. And I will tell you all of the ways right after this. And we're back. Listen, Josh, I can say in the history of us doing this podcast, I never really let you fully get your points out mm. before I stopped them out of existence. What? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I oh. want you, I want to give you a chance on this good Christian morning. Mm -hmm. Josh, I'm going to let you go ahead and, t and tell us why you live this life. Okay. So I think that this time that we're, that we're in right now in the, in the month is a perfect time to talk about this. Because right now we're in fall. We're in an equal split between the two. Okay. You know, we, we still have memories of summer and we still have um, a winter to look forward to. And for me, I think that winter is just the coziest, right? You're inside, you're snuggled up, you're eating some good, some, some good hearty food that's warm. You can't have that during the summer, all right? If someone made you like a nice, thick, full stew, you don't want that in the summer. You can't eat it. It's too hot outside. You don't want it hot in your mouth, okay? You can't be snuggled up under quilts, all sorts of covers and comforters. You can't be under blankets in the summer, all right? Snuggled up with a good book, yeah, maybe outside while you're roasting. Mm. But in the winter, you're inside, maybe next to a fireplace, right? All, all cozied up with a honey bun, you know? Literal or figurative. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Depending on where you what live. What kind of honey buns you cuddling up with, Josh? <laughs> Josh <laughs> out here referencing cuffing season? You, Josh Johnson, celebrate cuffing season? Wow. I'm not saying celebrate cuffing season. I'm just saying if you're with somebody, it's nice to be with somebody when it's cold outside. You can snuggle up, warm each other, you know? I will say the other thing that's really great is like... Uh, any any inside activity for a homebody is only elevated in the winter because now there's no guilt about not going out. And outside your window, depending on where you live, you get to see the beautiful, tranquil snowfall. All right. There's there's something about there's something about snow on the horizon that's just peaceful and beautiful. Okay. Winter comes with a lot of the good foods. It comes with a ton of of the indoor activities, if you're a, if you're an introvert, 
winter reigns supreme. Get to wear mittens? Tell me you don't love mittens. No, nigga, I'm not six years old. Mittens are superior, all right? <laughs> I'm tired of this thing where, you know, as, as a black man, I got to be so tough, I got to act like I will love mittens, all right? I wish I had them on right now. Listen, no one's asking you to be tough. Don't worry. Wow. What? <laughs> oh, 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 you know what a what is. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah! The nerve. The, the nerve. What? You know what a what is. I'm just saying, no one's asking Josh Ezekiel Johnson to throw hands. No one's asking you to do that. No one's... I'm, not e- I'm not even saying throw hands. I'm saying be tough. I'm no. saying that sometimes in, in life, especially as a man, you're expected to be a certain level of tough where you don't even like stuff. Okay. I hear that. There and are I'm, certain... I'm I telling do you, feel... mittens? Mm, a where do you nice even buy mitten, mittens? Mitten. Uh, first of all, you don't buy many of them, okay? A lot of them are gifted to you by grandmothers, women in your life that are of a certain age that yeah. love to knit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm. I hear you. Listen, I um disagree with everything you just said. <laughs> but <laughs> Listen, I'm wearing my best summertime dress because mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep hope alive. Yeah, um, you look nice. Looks Thank good you on you. So much. You know? This is uh this is a dress whenever I wear it on stage is to let white people know that I have white friends. Um <laughs> look at these sleeves. Oh yeah, the the sleeves the sleeves scream, yeah, you know, I didn't enjoy midsummer, but I watched it, you know, to support the white community. S- midsummer night's dream? What are we Oh no no the the horror movie Midsummer that only has Oh I don't in. watch horror movies. I, it's hard enough out here, dog. I don't need my brain attacking me anymore. That that's what I'm saying. It says that. I'm not saying you did that. I'm oh yeah, this says, dress definitely Yes, I support. Yes, this dress definitely says, "Yes, I'll have a beer." You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this dress says. I'll drink an IPA. Ah, uh, disgusting. Right? Yeah. I called them IPAs for the longest. No one corrected you? No one corrected me for like a while. Yo, that's not even. Yeah, yeah. I worked at Trader Joe's. And you worked at Trader be... Joe's? That's yeah, where I they're from. Trader Joe's. Yeah, I worked at what? Trader Joe's for years. Oh, I know you worked at Trader Joe's for years. What I'm saying is that the fact that you worked at a Trader Joe's yeah, where yeah. IPAs live... Yeah, yeah. And no one took the time to pull a young man aside and, and was say, like, Stop saying Epa. Hey, bro. How did you find out? I, I eventually said it out loud in front of somebody. <gasps> yeah, I was just, I was like living in ignorance, but it never came up. Cause I in don't your drink. defense, they put an S on the end, but the S is little. Mm. Also, I don't know what the letters mean. Uh, Indian pale ale. Are we, do we mean like, Native American? Oh, I have no idea. I just I just know that that when it's spelled out, that's what it. Is there is there is there a beer making history among the Native Americans or the people of India? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, I I, I didn't understand it even when it was explained to me. I wished that Ipa was right. I mean, at the end of the day, they're still nasty. Yeah. I think Fair you enough. have to really be a white man to enjoy them. <laughs> I truly think they're tuned perfectly mm-hmm. to that palette. Mm. Because I've never seen anyone who wasn't one. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink, so I, I have no drink. idea. Oh, I always forget you. No, I never forget you don't drink. I'm always like, Josh, I love imagining you at like a college party. Just being like, I don't. Oh yeah, no, I was standing there. Good lord, I can't say I don't. I don't not drink. Some of my friends was like, one of my friends was like, "Have you considered not like stopping drinking?" And I was like, "I don't drink enough mm-hmm. to stop drinking." If that makes sense. I feel like I've only ever seen you have a drink twice. 
and I've known you for years. Yeah, I don't drink all. I don't drink all the time. And if I do drink, I'll have one or two. I don't like being drunk. Now, I, I guess I'll ask you this then. Since you're on the side of summer, Hell yeah. do you still drink the same things in the summer as you do in the winter? I do the same thing year round. Year round, okay. So I enjoy soju year round. Mm. I enjoy a whiskey and soda, tequila soda year round. If I am going to go for a fruity beverage, <laughs> your uh, coladas, your uh -huh. daiquiris, your margaritas, mm. it is usually warm outside. Okay. The only, I will now, if, there is now I will have a margarita year round if there is queso. Wow. Okay. That the, first of all, that makes perfect sense. I used to work at a Mexican restaurant, mm -hmm. and that makes perfect sense. But also would not have if you had not said anything paired them together in my mind. You gotta like, have a margarita if you're eating queso. You got. Yeah. To. That that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like that makes so much sense. And looking back on when I would you know do the orders and when I was serving. Yep, but also never put it together until just now. Oh, yeah, because you need the acidity to bust up all that cheese. But then you need the cheese <laughs> to help regulate the acidity. That I, I is... want you to have what? your own cooking show because bust up is <laughs> <laughs> oh, an incredible way to describe it. Bust up. <laughs> well, the thing is, you can't and you usually can't get I did not realize this until I left the South, but you can't get white queso out of like a couple southern like would you leave yeah yeah that's true also i recently bought a knitting machine and now i'm out here making beanies scarves josh what color beanie you want baby boy i got a red color coming up listen i've seen you in a I, beanie now look 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 i i will take a red beanie but if you could make me some red mittens hey out here all right <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying if I can get you red mittens to go with this uh, red beanie, you would wear them? I would, I would not just wear them. I would sport them. There'd be Instagram posts. There'd be, okay. there'd be a lot going on. Mittens and a matching beanie? I don't think I've had that in life. Now, do you, when you want your beanie, do you want the little, like, faux fur, little poof on the top? What does the poof do? I, I guess I never understood It's just understood for decoration. It. I oh, bought okay. 60 of them, so if you want one. A kid once told me that it breaks up the wind. And I was like, I don't see I don't, how that's possible. I don't think. But maybe. Windbreakers don't even break up the wind. Windbreakers just hold wind. Yeah. Windbreakers so, should be called wind catchers. Um, but I, I get what you're saying then. So yeah, yeah so it's from, like a lot of what you prefer happens during the summertime. Right. Also, it's like I don't like being hot indoors. Mm -hmm. And I don't like being cold outside, right? Okay. Also, okay. I enjoy sitting outside. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a nice terrace, got a bath. So it's like, I enjoy sitting outside. I have patio furniture, right? Mm -hmm. And it is much easier to sit outside. You know, you're talking about reading your books, people who are like introverts and such. I mean, I think introverts do the same thing year round because they just do what they do. But if you're going to sit up and enjoy a nice book, like, like a couple weeks ago, I was sitting on my terrace, uh, kind of on the top floor, so like I I can see like you know the sky is so big. Mm -hmm. I sit down there on my patio furniture reading a book, mm -hmm. and if it's thirty degrees outside, you're not finna enjoy sitting outside reading shit <laughs> because you're you're dabbing an eye, you're dabbing a nose, your thing you can't feel your fingers to turn them pages, right? Yeah. Also, yeah. I'm a beach person. All right, that makes sense. So, oh, should we have to do an episode about beaches versus mountains, like vacations? Yeah, yeah. I'm down for that because I have so many thoughts and feelings about that situation. <laughs> because we have to admit, like, a beach is like a summertime vacay. The okay. mountains, Los Montañas, it's really a wintertime gig, right? Yeah, it is. Like, You're going right. to the mountains in the summer, it's like, girl, mm -hmm. for what? For who? For why? Who asked for this? For um, absolutely. Hmm? For absolutely, Yo, I mean, we don't have to. We don't have to do the thing now. It's that. fine. It's fine. But yeah, but I, but I'll tell you why you wrong later. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. So like, I'm team summer because it's 
you're out and about, you're seeing people. It's just the ability to, it doesn't even have to be like a big trip. Like you could go on a day trip. So you could just be in a park. Mm-hmm. You could just sit in a park mm-hmm. and enjoy your day. You can have a couple of nibbles, you know, a couple of nibbles, maybe some boobly, mm-hmm. maybe some ipas, whatever you would like enjoying when you're out enjoying a nice day. You can just do that. It's easier to do things in the summer. Just getting groceries is easier in the summertime. Getting Doing laundry is easier. Just running an errand is easier in the summertime because you're not out here looking like the kid from a Christmas story. This is, I, I understand where you're coming from because a lot of the things that you're saying make sense for you. As long as I've known you, all these things have been, have been true. So I, I get why you lean towards summer, but there are just certain things that, Hey, you're not having hot chocolate when it's hot out. All right. Okay. That's a you're beverage. Having... I'm talking about sitting in the park. No, 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 no. I still, I still say there are plenty of activities that you can go do in the winter. There's a whole winter Olympics for people that love the winter. All right. Okay. But what about if you live somewhere that gets cold, Mm -hmm. but doesn't always snow like Atlanta, for instance, people do not know because somebody gave Atlanta the, some white people in a fucking building gave Mm -hmm. Atlanta this nickname of hot Atlanta. And people mm-hmm. think that it's hot year round, which is not true. Atlanta would get down to the teens. I thought it was called Hot Atlanta because of the people. No, that was wow. marketing bullshit. Wow. Okay. Because when it came out, we all went, the fuck? We didn't vote for this. And they put it on everything. Yeah, yeah. And now every corny ass person I've ever met is like, so you're from Hot Atlanta? No, bitch, I'm not. I'm not from a marketing campaign. None of us enjoy, all of us saw it and were like, this is going to be a fucking problem. Like no one's running around like New York. Like no New Yorkers like, yeah, I'm from the big apple. Like no one's doing this. No Mm -hmm. one Mm -hmm. is doing that. I'm not running around. I'm not calling the peach state. I think for me, the things that I enjoy doing the most Mm -hmm. are during my favorite season. So because I enjoy an out, an aquatic activity, right? You can't be in nobody's swimming pool when it's 40 degrees outside. When your pool is probably frozen. Somewhat. It's cold as shit. Yeah. Cold enough to kill you. This is this when it's important to have friends with indoor pools. Yeah, sure. That's why I'm going like, to do a lot of hotels like up north. A yeah, lot of them yeah. have indoor pools. Yeah, yeah. Um, Or heated pools. So it's like, I can't say this summer. Mm-hmm. Summer of 2022. Mm-hmm. I kept seeing it on, like, on Instagram. It was like, yo, this summer left like it had somewhere to be. It did. I thought it was just me. I looked up and was like, bitch, is this September? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it went by very quick. And I thought it was just your girl. But everyone else looked up and went like, oh, fuck am I wearing a jacket? It was, it's been, it, she, she flew the fucking coop. I don't know, yeah. she had bills to pay. And she was upset before she left because those were some heat waves i couldn't even sit outside it was hot because i was like i love sitting outdoors but also i know that new york is hot wrong (laughs) what do you mean i was talking to mateo lane about this and he completely understood okay listen so Uh uh-huh first of all it's building hot it's not nature hot right okay so like i remember a couple years ago i was supposed to do this thing called aussie fest and they canceled it because of the heat. And I called my mother, who grew up in Miami, and has lived most of her adult life in the great state of Georgia, mm-hmm. as you can see on my necklace. And so I was like, Mommy, they canceled this comedy show because of a heat wave. She said, Girl, how hot was it? 105. 100, 105, how hot was it? I said, mommy, it was going to be 94 degrees. And we laughed for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Because in the South, we would have whole outdoor festivals, whole Mm -hmm. fucking barbecues. And it'd be 94 degrees outside. Why? Because it's nature hot and we got enough watermelon out here to keep everybody alive. Okay? Sit that baby in the shade. Come get some of these ribs. We're going to have a good day. Okay? 
Yeah. We got enough cold drinks out here, mm-hmm. enough Coke, and that is any carbonated beverage. We got enough water. We got enough. Co- we got enough. We got sweet tea out here to keep everybody yeah. the fuck alive. In no, I remember. I remember. Right. You grew up in Louisiana. And up here, first of all, the number of places that do not have air conditioning, because they love to call themselves ignorant, but we have figured out HVAC. They okay. want to call us all kind of backwards and barefoot and stupid or whatever, these Yankee bastards. But we have figured out how to cool a home. Okay? Uh-huh. The fact that my other apartment, I had to have a window unit as a grown adult and I couldn't control and I couldn't control my heat came on. Which was also <laughs> truly fucking disrespectful. I pay you American dollars with a comma in the bitch. Yeah. I got a whole apartment and my heat just come on when you say so. So now I'm just in here wearing the least amount trying to figure out how to take my fucking skin off. <laughs> cause it's hotter than a bitch in here because somebody cause you know, Dino done turn the fucking heat on and ain't asked nobody. <laughs> so I'm a summertime gal because mm-hmm. your best family get togethers out here in the summertime. Right? Also, my birthday is the ultimate summertime gig. Yeah. July my birthday 4th. is July 4th. Wait, Josh, when's your birthday? March 6th. How did I not know that? I don't know. I don't really bring it up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Josh Jebediah Johnson. How dare. Uh, yeah, I just, I just let it, you know what I mean? I, I think that for me, I I truly understand what you're saying. I'm not saying summer doesn't have a lot of amazing merits to it. My con with summer is the heat waves. And you're saying that New York is hot wrong, but isn't California having the same sort of concrete heat issue? California, first of all, is a desert. Mm-hmm. That's the main thing. Yeah, they don't have water. Yeah, and they, I mean, the thing is, they put that there, which is very confusing that they even did that. Yeah, um, I think at the time it was cheap land, and so then they built there. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, it's not probably the best. No, idea. it's not It's not a great idea long term. So, like, I've lived in L.A. during a heat This is the weird thing about being in L.A. in a heat wave. Mm-hmm. There was one day where it was 108 degrees, and then the sun went down, and it was 70 degrees. Yeah. And I was like, how do you not catch your death in this bitch? Because I've been in Georgia, and it's been 92 degrees at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. The sun hasn't been out for hours, and it's still not in the 90s. Yeah, but the temp has sense enough to regulate. Right. The temp has sense enough to regulate. So, like, L.A. bounces around. Because that was a weird thing when I first moved there. I was like, okay, you know, it's it's... It's not, it's 85 degrees out here. We out here looking cute. And then at nighttime, mm-hmm. it'll be 65. I was like, oh, that's why everybody in this bitch always has a jacket with them. Yeah, yeah. But it's very confusing. And then when you get there, you're like, oh, I get it. So that's why everyone's clothes out here don't make any sense. Yeah. Because once the sun goes down, you don't know what the hell temperature it's going to be. But it's like your most fun activities are during the summertime. Also, and I hate separate. Oh, so you enjoy snowboarding? You enjoy tobogganing? It's you not, enjoy it's not skiing? It's not about snowboarding or skiing, all right? It's about having like a nice nature walk in the winter. If I'm in the woods in it's the winter cold. when Why it's are snowing, you out? It's 30 degrees outside. Go inside. What do you mean? It's you fucking freezing. Gear, people act like you can't gear up for the winter. The, uh, you, could be, you could be so comfortable if you just gear up for the for the temperature in a heat wave, there you can't take off the skin. You can take off everything, but you be naked and still hot. All right, but in winter, you That's... gear up enough and you're just comfortable. Until you go inside somewhere and then you're sweating your life away because that's the other thing sweating about the winter time away. is that. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. The other thing about the winter time is it's so hot indoors. Because no, that's the thing. Warm. 
This is no, the ev- doors. everybody's fucking, everybody's not regulating this shit right, right? So, like, <laughs> I got on this sweat, because, like, I, that's why I learned to wear winter on the outside and summer oh. on the inside, because <laughs> you'll see somebody have, like, a full, thick-ass, whatever, a, a cable knit, is what the kids say. Thick-ass <laughs> cable knit sweater right uh-huh, uh-huh. and they look cozy yeah but now they've come inside a building mm-hmm. and the building is set to hell right i've been inside <laughs> of bars that was too hot when i was a minute in indiana over the weekend everywhere we went inside was too warm it was too warm <laughs> it wasn't cold enough outside for as warm as it was inside right uh-huh uh-huh. And so, because the jacket that I brought was, too, the coat that I, I brought a coat, I should have brought a jacket, right? In New York, you're like, okay, light jacket, mm-hmm. jacket, mm-hmm. coat, coat. So it's like there's these levels where it's just like, you know, I was like, oh, I got a jacket, I got a light jacket, right? I'm running around. Ba-da-da-da-da-da. Okay, let me, let me get a coat. Okay, now let me call North Face. Let me get Goose down involved, okay? I had to bring animals as reinforcement because I'm fucking freezing. I mean, you know, you've seen my coats. They're they're warm. They're very much warm. But so it's like you have to have so many. There's hats and scarves and boots and gloves. And then there you got to have salt for the snow. Because, like, this is the thing. I will give you this. Snow is pretty. Mm-hmm. The first two days. And then it needs to go the fuck on. Snow needs to find it. Snow needs to know. Snow doesn't know when to leave. Snow doesn't know when to leave. Okay. Snow right. show up and be like, hey, y'all. The first snow is very cute. It's mm-hmm. nice. It's cute. It's quiet. Yeah. You know. Okay. okay. But too much snow, shut your fucking city down. Okay. Mm-hmm. Remember the bomb cyclone. That hit New York in 2018. I because feel like this was 2018 this was, a, was not that crazy. If it was a bomb so, cyclone, why'd they call it a bomb cyclone if it wasn't so crazy? Because they were they were getting too hyped. It was just a fucking blizzard. We already had a word for a bunch of snow showing the fuck up. That that's kind of where I was. Where I was like, I heard bomb cyclone. Even I was like, all right, this may be too much snow. Like maybe maybe we're in for it, right? But then it hit, and it maybe it's because I lived in Chicago for a while, but it hit, and See, it wasn't, like, all that wild to your me. Your barometer is different. Chicago. Chicago is egregious. Like, Chicago, something. they called it Shiberia that one year because the lake almost froze over. That's a big-ass lake. It's a huge lake. And then you, when that you lake- see the, the sky view, you see how far out of the shoreline that it froze and i was like oh yes this is this is actually too cold is that lake michigan uh let me see I think so. which lake is that you live there for years and don't know i wasn't really paying attention negro let me see one second one second hold Chicago. on i can look it up in a moment not a huge deal. Nobody freak out. No one's freaking out. I'm just saying. You Everybody know. calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Lake Michigan. Yeah, Lake Michigan. Yeah. Why do you not know that? Because you know it's a it's a great lake. So I would just say the Great Lake. The you would just not us. pick the lake. I just wouldn't pick the lake. I'd be like, you know, a Great Lake right over there. Because yeah, there's Lake Michigan. There's Erie. There's Huron. Like Huron. Mm-hmm. Uh, which 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 what the fuck is the superior? Mm-hmm. Which I think is you know being <laughs> just a little full of yourself. What's this other bitch called? Ontario. You never, okay. you never met him. You never met him. Maybe it is superior. Maybe it is. Maybe it ain't. I don't know. I don't work here. What I'm saying is, Chicago is the fact that you even survive. Like one of my friends, who's a thin man. Uh-huh. Moved to Chicago a couple years ago, and I was really worried about him. I was like, "You gonna have to get ankle weights." He was like, "Why?" I said, "Cause the wind has a name. You gonna get blown down the street like tumbleweed." So you're Nigerian. You're not made for this. 
You're not made for that. We're not even supposed to be here. Like, you know the joke that I have on my half hour where I talk about, like, black people, we're not supposed to be here? Mm-hmm. Because we're not supposed to fucking be here, bro. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't snow hair. That's why I don't trust these Yankee niggas because they be out here like, yo, I fuck with snow. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, no, no, no. Just to get your jeans, nigga. This doesn't make no sense. It you does can't make trust sense, these though. Yankees. You cannot trust these snow niggas. You can't. Snow is beautiful. For two days. And then it shuts your fucking... Snow is great. And then you know what happens in New York? This is what happens mm. in New York. You just watch the layers of snow and just the amount of dog shit that shows up. And mm. all this other... Like, you're just watching trash show up is what happens when snow melts in New York. Okay? Dirty snow. Yellow snow. Just ice. Just the snow... Like, that's why I was so... When that bomb cyclone hit, I was like, this is a blizzard. Why are we not calling this a blizzard? This is just a bunch of fucking snow. Yes, I'm fully aware that summertime may be the time of the hurricane. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Hurricane season starts in August. And runs until about what? October, November? Look. So technically, fall. It could be fall's fault. I'm not. I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing that that summer is hurricane season or anything. All I'm saying is that the heat wave. I'd be interested in what kills more people. Is it the heat wave or is it the potential blizzards? You know. I can tell you that in a lot of states, you are not allowed to cut people's gas or power off in the winter time. Hmm. It was funny. I used to work for this power company in Florida years ago, and there was a big freeze that happened in Florida. Remember the year we didn't have any tomatoes? Like every like fast food place is like we ain't got no tomatoes. There was a big freeze in Florida. The price mm. of oranges shot up, and the prices and tomatoes were fucking gone. The price of yeah. oranges shot the fuck up because it was a huge freeze in Florida. And like I, the last time there was a big freeze in Florida, I was living in Florida, and to see people in Miami who have never felt forty degrees. Mm-hmm. have to deal with 40 degrees was a wild thing but you're not allowed to cut people's power so people were calling and like hey you're not allowed to turn my power off it's the winter time and it's freezing and, were, and i was like well ma'am technically that's not a law in your state mm-hmm. she said, well, i said because it's never been cold enough to pass that law so it's not yeah know. it's never been cold enough to kill you right we're turning your lights off your lights are already off i can I, i'll try but technically, this law does not apply to you because you don't live in Detroit. Concrete hot is a different kind of hot. Also, there's no trees to absorb. Like, city hot is different. There's no trees to absorb any heat. There's no real wind coming through nature to alleviate any of it. Like, all the wind that you get in New York in the fall and the winter time is when that you needed in the summer. Okay. To give some relief. That's how, you know, it's just, it's just not, we're not supposed to be here. Like, honestly, we threw all these buildings up, made everything fucking hot. Like, I remember as a kid watching David Letterman and they would always say the joke like, oh, it's hot enough to cook an egg on the sidewalk. And then David Madeline was like, hmm, let's see. It was like the 90s. And he, went, and he literally put an egg on a sidewalk and it was like sunny side up. Hmm. And I was like, this is, this is yeah, all. This is like, clearly a bad place then. Clearly a bad, you're literally making breakfast on concrete. Like the shit is not great. You should throw some home fries next to that bitch. So yeah. it's summertime here is different mm. than summertime other places because it's like, it's just not right. Like all of your, like just being. I mean, the humidity for me in Louisiana during the summer was what killed me. It, it was like. That's because I you always was... have pants and long sleeve shirts on. Probably no, no, no. Even even when I was just like, when I was young and I wore shorts. <laughs> even then. <laughs> even then, the it was like walking through. The face I made was so water. ugly. <laughs> the face I just made was. So, did you see that? Like it just nah. hit me. It just hit me so hard. It just hit me so hard. I was looking down. I didn't see you at all. It was just pure. 
<laughs> this man said, when I wore it, Sean. <laughs> Back in those days when I wore shorts, it was just, it was still like walking through hot water. The humidity in Louisiana is a different, is a different boost. Uh, it's a different situation. That's, that's a different campaign. Um, mm-hmm. cause the humidity in Miami, I'm fully aware will just really, I don't care how many Dominicans you go to that blowout. If you don't get it in that state. <laughs> <laughs> I took an Atlanta blowout to Miami and it did not make it. My hair swole up like one of those fucking magic washcloths. Oh God. <laughs> Girl. Girl. Oh. Hair was wow. done so. You got to get wow. your hair done in that humidity to fight that humidity. But the thing is, when you live somewhere that's humid, your skin, ooh, mm-hmm. beach. Because that's what fucked me up when I moved to LA. It was so dry and I grew up in places with humidity. I had scabs on my face. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say here during the winter, it does get extra dry. Uh, um, all of the things you apply to your face. But it was also really dry in LA because I remember talking to one of my friends. And she just looked at me. She was like, bitches, I was like, everything's dry. At all of it. The last thing I'll say about winter, and in its defense, is that I think that there are some things that can be debunked as summer things, all right? All you debunked? really need. All you really need for some good barbecue. I is knew to know, you were going to mention a barbecue. I knew know, you was going to mention a barbecue. Is to know how to barbecue. And to have the ingredients, you don't actually need sun to barbecue. All right. Do you want to sit up? So you're saying, okay, okay, okay. I think the act of barbecuing Mm -hmm. and having a barbecue Mm -hmm. are two different things. Okay. You can cook meat on a grill. Yeah. Year round. Mm -hmm. But having a bunch of people come over to your house Mm -hmm. to enjoy grilled meats Mm -hmm. is easier. I've been to barbecues in the wintertime and they don't hit the same. Now, barbecue in the fall, early fall, where like when it comes nighttime and there's just like that slight crisp in the air, Mm -hmm. somebody will start a fire or something like that. That I can fucks with, right? Okay. Because a barbecue is something that goes all day. And everybody knows the temperature drops at night, regardless, most of the time. Mm -hmm. So a barbecue, when it's cold, it's like, bro, it was already cold when the sun was out. Mm -hmm. Now you want me to hold this chicken leg when it's even colder? So you're saying, Mm -hmm. I understand eating barbecue and eating indoors in the wintertime. Yeah. But standing outside, Eating potato salad? I'm not doing it. It's too cold. But it's not about it's not about being outside for me. For me, sometimes the outside is to the detriment of the barbecue. Sometimes it's so hot that I'm actually not having fun at this barbecue waiting for the meat to cook. There's a time and place to be in your house. And there's a time and place to be in these streets. And I <laughs> know we're coming to the time in this trash ass city. Where it's going to be a lot of in the house. And that's yeah. why I got a knitting machine. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's why Josh Johnson's finna be out here in a nice beanie and a fresh pair of mittens. So do you want the poof at the top? Because I can make it I can make it where it's like a real cool guy beanie where there's no mm-hmm. little kid poof at the top. Or we can have you out here being poof Johnson. I mean, I would I would honestly take the no poof. Okay. And I don't know if this is too much to ask, but can the inner lining be satin? I will figure that out for you, friend. Cause I cause then if it if it's already satin in the oof, I'm wearing it like every day. You know what I mean? I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. I'll figure out how to make that happen for you because I need to make that happen for me. And I don't care if I gotta buy a bonnet. And sew it inside. (laughs) 
Because that might be the easiest way to do it. To just get some, the biggest size satin bonnets. Mm-hmm. And sew Ooh. them inside these hats. Look, we want to kick it to you, the listener. Tell us what you think. Because this is the first episode where I can confidently say that there is going to be a part two extension. Because once we get to beach houses versus cabins... That's that's the in my mind the continuation we're, of this we're thing, like a mountain versus, cabin, beach versus mountains. All the things you could do at that there beach versus the things you do. Listen, I've been to. You already uh, described it with hating your heart. I understand your bias. All right. Of course, this is a versus. I no, no, it's Jesus. fine. It's fine. I, you know, I, I, I said Jesus. my thing like you were crazy. I said my thing like, oh, you know, beach houses or the beach or And then you, you had the inflection. I heard it. You had the inflection in there. I'm like, all about, whatever you do. You know, I'm all about expression. Okay. You know, I am all about telling it like it is. But yeah, so we'll kick it over to the listener because if you have been keeping score, Josh is wrong a lot. First of all, first, first of all, all first, first of all, all, first of all, check yourself. All right. Check, you check, check yourself. yourself. Yeah. Who gonna no, check me check room? myself. You check. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. you oh. should blue check yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. You should blue. Oh, I should be verified. Is that what you're telling me? I don't even verified. Because I'm so wrong. I'm so inappropriate for what I'm doing right now that I need to get blue checked. Yeah, yeah, because here's Come the on. thing. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you win. Even I can admit it, all right? But sometimes it's real close, all right? It's it's very close. And then you still take a W like it's just <laughs> owed to you, like you just know it for sure. And it's not, it's not always that. You know what Listen, I mean? Sometimes... I feel like I'm pretty gracious when I'm right. You know, I feel like I'm, I feel like I don't even bring it up really, you know, and then, <laughs> and then sometimes What have you, you been just... right? What have you been right? Give me one time. Uh, I think I was pretty right for staycation versus vacation. I think, you... I think I was on point. No. I think oh, I came no. with facts. No. I think I came with no. figures and figurines. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm so happy about is now you're just trying to start to sound like me. And yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just and ridiculous. I, and the the last thing I'll say about this, because we're gonna we're gonna do this extra episode extended. So if you don't even have an opinion yet, and you really want to be swayed, you can let me know that. You can let me know, hey, Josh, you 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 did your best, but you're really gonna have to bring it in the next one because I'm leaning towards summer. I understand, all right. But the last thing I'll say about summer versus winter is summer is about a lot of payoff. You know, you're out in the world, you're getting to see your friends, go on vacation, stuff like that. The winter, the winter time is about the grind, all right? It's about oh, staying no! home. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's about staying home. It's about no days off. It's Ooh. about doing It's about doing what the other people don't see because you're inside grinding, okay? <laughs> I, was, I was in L.A. I was talking to some friends while I was in L.A., and I was, ex- I was telling them about the grind, you know? And I was telling them about the no days off. And it's like, look, you need to work until you can't work anymore. And if you have a heart attack, that means your heart was a quitter and it couldn't grind hard <laughs> enough. All right? So stay warm, stay grinding, and stay wintry. Okay? If you if you want to be a summertime bug, I get that too. All right, I get I get you want to flap your wings and fly and go all the places and stuff. But if you really care about the grind, that's a wintertime thing. The winter isn't always fun. Sometimes it's hard, and you need hard <laughs> to grind you into the diamond that you are when it's cold outside. You want to be a frozen diamond, or you want to be a, a a a like warm warm little bikini top. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what do you really want in your life? Okay? I hate you, Josh. <laughs> this has been holed up. <laughs> Which Josh, we've never Josh, fully Josh. explained the entire title of the show, because it's hold up, sure. But really it's hold up, are you grinding? Okay? <laughs> Hold up. Are you trying to take your life to the next level? 
Josh Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he, the, they. <laughs> I'm I'm doing Josh, my best out here to Josh bring Johnson you is a menace. the great points mm. and the, the the way in which you can elevate your life, okay? Oh, no. All you need to do oh, no. to get the rest of the blueprint is buy my book. It's on Amazon right now, self-published, because I'll really work with publishers because I'm on a grind, okay? Did they tell me no? Sure. But they also <laughs> missed out on opportunity to grind with me all the way up. So give us your summertime, wintertime thoughts. All right. Put your grinds on social <laughs> where we can see them. Comment on any hold up content that you see on the Daily Show pages. They're going to be on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We're grinding all day. It's on every platform. Okay. <laughs> If we're not on that platform, that means that platform really isn't popping like that. And if you can find it in your heart to send Josh a message to let him know that he's a fucking miscreant. (laughs) (laughs) At least I'm not a miscreant, okay? (laughs) (laughs) Listen, buy Josh Johnson's book, uh, Grind Till You Die. Uh, I wrote the forward for it because he wouldn't stop calling me. And um, let's just—it's illegal in fifteen states. So mm-hmm. um, just because those does fifteen believe, states aren't motivated, okay. And he also believes in child labor, so which I don't wholly disagree with. Look, let the kids grind. Hey, man! Okay? Not every kid's going to college, bro. Let the kids work. Not every kid's going to college. Do they need to be in a factory at the age of nine? No. But put some hot, but hey, man, put some step ladders near these um, coffee making machines at a Starbucks and get these kids on. I'm so not 100% serious. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've been working since I was nine years old. And look at me. Mm-hmm. Look at mm-hmm. me. Look at this grind I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. My mama hasn't yeah. worked since 2018 because I've been Let working. Let me tell you. Yeah, see? Get Since it. The all right? Clinton administration, okay, baby? Because I've been I've been grinding, all right? I've been grinding since I was four years old. And what do I have to show for it? Only two loans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to Hold mm-hmm. Up. Um, Josh Johnson doesn't really have a book. Please don't go looking for it on Amazon. You will end up buying someone else's book. And uh, I'm someone sure else's... that title exists. Yes. Grind till you die. I promise you, you can find it. So listen to Hold Up. Go see me and Josh Johnson in the places that we're going to be. Follow us on social medias. Um, I guess we have to tell you it's Dulce Sloan at Dulce Sloan on all of the social platforms, um, including Tumblr, if that's even still around. Do you have a GeoCities website? If you do, keep it. It's probably going to be the last part of the internet when all this falls apart. Yeah. Um, Josh Jedediah uh, Johnson. Uh, oh, yeah. You can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And at Josh Johnson on Twitter. We love you. The Lord loves you. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, call your mama. 